Hey guys, uh, lots of people are asking uh, how they can list your website in Google. They just purchased the domain and they want to show the Google their website. So basically, there is a two portion that I'm going to cover. First portion is just, you know, like a, you purchase your uh, domain, you created your website, the website is up and running, and then you, you want to show that website in Google. And second thing, you know, like a first thing will include, you will have to type your website name. Suppose uh, I have a website and then I will type, you know, like a ICO media. Then then my website will come up here okay so first thing you have to type your uh, domain name your business name here and then it will directly show the links you know the first searches uh, this is the first searches that you, that google can list your website and second thing if you optimize your website you know, like uh, optimize your website and then and then it can be searched by the keyword you know like if you search as the goa label support in india so our website may search is here you know like and then uh, so this is the searches by keyword it, it takes a time and that it includes a few technical setup that uh, i will explain later so first of all uh, if you just purchase your website then what do you need to do okay so uh, let's get started so first of all um, we have to create a sitemap for our website so like if you have a 20 pages then you want google to hey i have a 20 pages and pages are you know like uh, about different topics and things so you will have to create the sitemap so if you write down in google like a uh, sitemap generator then you will see the first link you can click on this link and then you can put your url so icemedia.com and what it will do it will crawl your website find the all the pages that your website has and it will create the sitemap xml file which google you know we will have to submit the sitemap to the google i will uh, go through after this step so now we have created the uh, sitemap Click on the view sitemap details, and then uh, you can see all the pages that they scroll. So view full XML sitemap. But what we can do is simply click on the download sitemap and then click the download. Okay, we have a file called a sitemap. So uh, the file has been created, and then if we open this file, then you will simply see. So let me open it. So it looks like. Uh, it looks like this and then um, if you are using a wordpress or you have any hosting service provider then you will have to install this sitemap to your hosting so uh, just download this file and then uh, upload this file to your hosting so like if uh, i have already uploaded that file so uh, if somebody you know, like a uh, somebody want to access the sitemap then uh, this is the url and then this is the url that you have to submit to the google and or any other service provider like uh, you can submit that sitemap to the bing and once you submit, and then Google will start crawling your website. Okay, you have the following pages. And when somebody search for this thing, that's going to automatically come uh, on the search result. And there are various factors, you know, like the number of times people are searching for your website. Is your website has a unique identity, you know, like, or is your uh, website URL or services are common? Then common services are, you know, like, a, uh, it's a, is a is a appear late on the google and then if you have some kind of unique services or a unique website or uh, when unique website name that people are searching then it will come faster so if you follow this then uh, then you like a, it, it might take a one two three months to appear your size in google first uh, as i said you know, like the, that's depend on the number of volumes that people are searching if google knows hey lots of people are searching for their website then it's gonna uh, you know like index your pages and uh, show up uh, pretty quick so this is regarding the sitemap and the next thing i'm going to show uh, how you can submit it to google so uh, first uh, open webmaster google and then you will have a google search console tool click on the start now so i have already i mean like added a main website here so but once you sign up for the google search console then you will see uh, see uh, an option in like a where you have to add the website okay let me like if i if i want to add the website then i will have to click on the add property and uh, I will add our website, iShowMedia.com. So Google uh, will now try to verify uh, like authority of your domain. It's already detected our website is through Cloudflare. So uh, we can start the verification process. If you have uh, your website through GoDaddy, then you need you will have uh, some you know like uh, different instructions. So let's like start verification, or we can verify later. Can't verify domain name provider. Try a URL prefix. Second method, a URL prefix. We have to enter the website URL here. Icemedia.com. Okay. Let's put the full URL. Okay. 
and now it will give you a code so like if you're using your hosting service provider then this method works for you if you are using any kind of crm or your website is on a wix that's that's not going to work you will have to select the first thing where um, it will automatically add a text record in your uh, cloudflare or godaddy wherever you use your domain is and then it will verify your domain and then it will list your once your website is listed here then uh, you will have to you will have to click on the sitemap and then uh, you will find an option here where like uh, let me see this is the account as uh, i have already this domain inside my account and verified so once you click your domain and it's verified then it will appear here you will, you will have to select your domain and then go to the sitemap and enter your full URL and enter the URL. Like our URL was Azure Media slash sitemap.xml. Yep. So you will have to submit uh, that here. So Azure Media is already there. Okay. Okay. Just submit it and then uh, you will see in like a, um, when you have submitted and what is the status, whether how many pages are there. And once you submit it, then Google will um, start crawling your website. And look, it's. It, your website will be on the list to crawl, but you can't expect an stand. So it takes a, a few days, few weeks, sometime a month. Uh, but once Google is called crawl your website and then it will appear on the Google searches. Okay, so this is the first thing that you have to do once you buy and your website is up. And then second thing that I'm gonna discuss is uh, you want your website to be on the Google with with like, you know, like a, a with proper on-page optimization. There is, a, there is a two part. First is on-page and second is off-page. So this is a very quicker method that you can try for your website and you know like any individual can do by their own but for the for the on page uh, you should have uh, your website should have you know like uh, optimized for ranking in the google if your website will have an error then there are less chances google will show up on the um, google searches so first method and see how it works for you and just uh, you can comment you know how much time it took to uh, be on the google and then you know like so uh, other people who are watching these videos can uh, get an idea thanks i will cover the uh, on page seo on the you know, like a different video. Thanks.